Hello everybody, today my name is Bissam Maal. Today I'll be talking about how astronauts live in the space station. Okay. As you can see from my project, this is the space station. What is a space station, first of all? A space station is a, is a place where astronauts live in and study about space. Scientists made it and study and look at the Earth. Astronauts survive in the space station through a commercial of technology and, uh, and training. The space station provides life support systems for air, water, and waste management. While astronauts undergo a graduate training to adapt to microgravity, handling emergency emergencies like to perform outside and inside the space station. It's like imagine living in a big in a big high-tech house. That's what is a space station is. The space station the space machines the space has machines to care of any messages. Messes. Astronauts learn how to move in zero gravity and uh, what to do if something goes wrong. They even learn... Why do you choose this project? Why I choose this project? Because, because I'm fascinated by the space station now and I would like to go outside the Earth for some time. Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about satellites and communication satellites. A satellite is a solid object which revolves around a heavily body due to the effect of gravitational force which is mutual in nature. Then we're going to talk about communication satellites. A communication satellite is an artificial satellite that acts as a radio relay station in orbit above the Earth that receives, amplifies and redirects analgo digital signals that uh, analgo digital signals can Carried on a specific radio, a specific radio signals. It acts as a it acts as a repeater in long distance communication path. Satellite works by receiving radio signals sent from the Earth and resending back down to the Earth. That's how we use social media and calls and that. You made it by hand, by your hand? Yes. Mashallah. All by hand, huh? Yes. Alone uh, or someone support you? No, alone. Alone, much alone. Well done. The view that. Great job. Thank you. today. Uh, my name is Mariam. I'm from grade seven. Uh, uh, first, what is satellite? Satellite is an object that orbits another large object like pla uh, like planet. And today, so today I talk about the first satellite made in Oman and launched in Oman. So since 2006, Oman began thinking about launching a satellite to serve uh, to serve a number of its economic plans. Uh, and in June 2021, uh, and in June 2000, my science project. My science project is about this man to walk on moon is Neil Armstrong. He is an enemy. Yes, he is born on 1930, August 5, and died at the year 2025, August 25, 2012. He went, why did he go to space? He went to space because he was selected as NASA's second group of astronauts. Mm. When he arrived at the moon, 1963, I think so, in Armstrong? I think so. Yeah, okay, here. Yeah. This is Armstrong, huh? Yes, he's standing in the mm. moon. Okay. Uh, he used the space rocket to fly to space. And mm. now let's go and talk about the man that built the first rocket that launched. The first rocket was built by Dr. Robert Goddard. This is him. He was a college professor and, and a scientist. Solar system. It's a solar system. Our solar system is made up of a star, a sun, eight planets, moons, comets, comets asteroids, space, rocks, ice, and dwarf planets such as Pluto. The eight planets are how many, how many planets here? Eight. Eight. No. So eight planets are Mercury, okay. Venus, Earth, yes. Mars, Mars. Jupiter, okay. Strong, Uranus, and Neptune. Hmm. Yeah, Mercury is closest to the Sun. Neptune is the, first, is the farthest to the Sun. Okay, ah. okay did you yeah. made it by you? Yes. Ah, Planets, asteroids, and comets orbit our sun. See, travel around the sun in flattened circle called an ellipse. It takes uh, uh, years, uh, uh, take one year to go around the sun. Mercury.
Hi everybody, I'm Salman and today I'm going to talk about the planet Mars. Mm. The planet Mars is the uh, fourth planet from the solar system. The planet Mars, uh, it has a uh, rusty iron soil, mm. so it gives it a reddish appearance and it appears red. It has two mo unusual moons that measure less than 15 meters in diameter and it takes 13 minutes for the light from the sun to come to Mars mm. and then Mars has the 11th of the Earth's volume, of the Earth's mass, and 15th of the Earth's volume. <coughs> it's, uh, the red planet is, is a cold desert within our solar system. It has a very atmo uh, thin atmosphere. It has a very thin atmosphere. The solar system is the family of the Sun, including the eight major planets, dwarf planets, for example, Pluto, meteorites, Earth's satellites, etc. All of these have to orbit the Sun to form a solar system. Mm -hmm. The Sun. The Sun is our is a yellow star. It is the biggest object in our solar system. It is a hot ball made up of hot glowing gases. How many planets you have here? Eight. Eight planets? Yes. Okay, where's uh, our land? Where's the Earth? Okay. Earth. And Sun? Here. Ah, oh, it's okay. Solar system. Okay. Solar system, there are in solar system there are eight planets. First, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Neptune? Near the sun. Mer yes, Mercury. Oh, okay. Mercury is Mer near the is near the sun. The only planet that is suitable for human lives is Earth because it has water, gravity, and oxygen. oxygen. Our planet is a third. Everybody, I am Ohib from Grade 7. Today I will talk about bacteria. Bacteria is very small and we cannot see them by naked eye. We use electron microscope to see them. And 10 million bacteria can feed on a head of bin. Uh, also, bacteria can grow and multiply in 20 minutes only. It's called organism because it is live in water uh, and, uh, and we don't can see it, just we can see it under the uh, scrub. Um, what, do it's you what do you want to see us here now? It's called, uh, uh -huh. it's called brain eating. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 which cues service? Brain infection. Uh, a single cold perfume all life process age, respiration, direction, and reduction. Thank you. Gasolash means that dot in the sky are in form to shapes like Hercules, okay. Orion, uh, Uranus Major, and Draco. The Hercules is a constellation, the, north, the northern part of the sky, with Greek mythical. As you see, yeah, this is Hercules. Okay. This is the shape of the Hercules. Oh, okay. So, Hercules. Right? Yes, this is Hercules. That's what you see in the sky. Yes, you can see it in the sky. sky. Yes. Okay. This is Orion. This constellation, the constellation has a clear hourglass shape with all Orion's built. In the center, that is part is made up of three bright in the line. This is his belt. What's the, what's the barrage we talked about? So, I mean, this is his take to kill this line. I am better grade 8. Today I will talk about component of the sun. The sun consists of the element hydrogen and helium. They account 74.9 and 23.8 of the sun mass in photosphere. Uh, at this time, uh, the heavier uh, elements are called metals in astronomy. They are uh, two, about 2% two of the sun mass. Mm. 
with oxygen 1% of the sun mass, carbon 0.3, neon 0.2. Uh, Everybody, hello teachers, hello dear principal, hello dear Khalid. Today I'm going to talk about the satellite. First, what is a satellite? It's like a space helper that aids us in communication, navigation and understanding the weather patterns. And without the satellite, uh, it will be a complete disaster that we cannot uh, communicate with people, the, uh, the people cannot understand the weather and they will not be prepared for the weather uh, and many more. And they also orbit around. And this is the transmitting uh, antenna. It sends electromagnetic uh, signals to the satellite and the uh, electromagnetic uh, which captures it and, uh, and uh, distributes it and uh, distributes them for various purposes. And the receiving antenna uses uh, the electromagne uh, electro electromagnetic uh, signals for use. Okay, Thank why do you choose this project? Because uh, I have other projects. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, we all know that the Earth rotates around itself and around the Sun, mm -hmm. and the Moon rotates around the Earth. Mm -hmm. So, when the Moon uh, passes between the Earth and the Sun, this is called solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. Solar eclipse or is also known as the eclipse of the Sun. It, occur, it happens when the Moon comes between the Earth and the Sun. As a result, the moon blocks the light from the sun from reaching the surface of the earth and casts a shadow on it. We, in, in each year, we have from two to five solar eclipses, but in different places. Mm. And a total solar eclipse uh, happens every 18 mm. years. Yeah. Oh. We have many types of solar eclipses. Solar eclipse. Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. As Nizel Kindi, and today I will talk about the layers of the atmosphere on the Earth. Uh -huh. uh, so, so what we know what is atmosphere? The atmosphere is a mixture of gases, uh, a mixture of gases that is completely surround the Earth, and we cannot see it, but we cannot live without it. Uh -huh. Now, the types of the gases in the atmosphere. Uh, in there, there are nitrogen and oxygen, carbon dioxide, argon. In addition, uh, other gases such as hydrogen, neon, and ozone. Uh, Where is ozone here? Ozone the, here. The solar system. The solar system is a set made up of eight planets and the sun. And all planets revolve around it. And this is our home, which is Earth. Where is it? There are millions of universe, uh, galaxies, one uh, in the universe. One of them, what we know as the Milky Way. Milky Way, it has uh, many solars, one of them solar system which we live on. Um, um, the brightest star in the solar system is the sun, and it is the primary star. Uh, uh, the all planet revolve around it because it is on the center, mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, uh, Earth depends on it. Okay. Good, thank you. Well done. Today I will talk about a space shuttle first. Space shuttle first, you need to know what is a space shuttle. It is a spacecraft designed to transfer people and cargo between Earth and space. When was the first space shuttle invented? It was in, uh, in April 12, uh, 1981. And the last space shuttle was in uh, July. Uh, 21, 2011. Now I will tell you about the parts of a space shuttle. This is the external tank, this is the solid rocket boosters, uh -huh. and there's two of them, uh -huh. and this is the orbiter, the main thing. Uh -huh. The parts of a uh, solid rocket boosters are... Uh -huh. Hi teachers, uh -huh. I will talk about the birth of the stars. The birth of the stars, there, there are many types of stars. The first one, when, when, uh, when the star is born, it's called solar nebula, and it is 2,500 to 3,500 uh, kilometer at Mercury distance from the sun. It may be the average star. Stars mm -hmm. can be as cool as 2,500 mm -hmm. Kelvin or else hot as 50,000 Kelvins. A huge star. It is six million degrees Celsius. Tell me about the last, the last uh, for stars. The death of stars. Yes, the one, one star. This. Uh, it will be a white dwarf. 
it, and it's not cure at the star remains and it is crushed to high dis, d, d, density hello today i will hello teacher hello hello teacher hello today i will talk uh, hello today i will talk about space station what is the meaning of space station space station is a space a space which orbit around the earth why we need space station we need space station to take information of the earth and the solar systems it takes to build a, a, a space station to Lunar Gateway is. Yeah, okay. And he do it at 1971 on April 19. Alright. Okay. They will do a project about the moon project on 2025. Why you choose this project? Because uh, I love it. You love it? Space and, and maybe... Uh, and it's also easy space, and to know. Ah, uh, okay. Fine. Okay. You this art. physics, yeah. You like physics and math. Yes. And after ah. 10 years, might we are going to live on Mars. Oh, awesome. Yes. Awesome. Buddy. Hello, everybody. My name is Tamim Ibrahim Al Hadrami. Yeah. And my name is Yusuf. We are grade 8 students. And now we will present our project. We have programmed and made this robot. Um, to show and stabilize the uh, orbit of Earth around the Sun and the Moon around the Earth. This is team project. Yes. This is team as you, project. As you can see, as you can see, we use here three motors, four buttons, and uh, two RGBs, and last not least, two brains. We also need two laptops to program this, and we have used the eBot Blocky app to program this. Okay. For the visual model, as you can see, we used here three balls. Each ball represents one space body. Hmm. Using the model, we can see how the um, moon orbits and how the Earth orbits the sun. Okay. We also, we also can see, we also can see both lunar and solar eclipse in this project. And my friend Yusuf will explain to you the lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse is like this when the uh, when the Earth blocks the sunlight from the moon, so there is uh, no sunlight on the moon, and it's uh, dark. Yeah. And the solar eclipse happen once the moon is between the sun and the Earth. The sunlight is covered by the moon, so uh, the sunlight cannot reach this point from Earth where the moon covers it. And now we will show you the moon phases. As you can see, in, di in different uh, times of the month, uh, different phases of the moon occur, as you can see here. And now we will show you how the, uh, a, a, a full year is completed. Full year is completed. Okay, yeah, that's great. Okay, yes. Sure. While this is happening, seasons change and also days and uh, night and days also change. You can see that we all we completed a year right Which is about satellite. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk particularly how mm -hmm. satellites work at sending mm -hmm. signals, okay. but I'm telling you to the types of satellites and its compounds. Mm -hmm. So, what's the definition of the word satellite? Satellite is an object that orbits around the cel a celestial body. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are two types of satellites, natural satellites natural and art satellite. artificial satellites. Okay. Natural satellites are are created by Allah, it's natural, like moon, for example, it's the natural satellite of Earth. And artificial satellites are the one that human made, for example, satellites. And its main function to orbit around Earth to do a purpose job. Yeah. And there are three types of artificial uh, satellites. Three types? Yes. Okay. Low Earth orbit, medium okay. Earth orbit, geostationary Earth other, orbit. Low Earth orbit mm -hmm. are, are very close to Earth, for example, mm -hmm. uh, by 160 to 2,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. and what happened today, I will talk about landforms in Oman. Mm -hmm. Basically, landforms are a type of land or a type of um, specific type of land, for example, like rivers. Of course, you don't have rivers in Oman. For, uh, for example, like wadis, mountains, different types of land, grass, for example, deserts. We have a lot of we have a lot of deserts in Oman. So, I'll talk, talk, firstly, I'll talk about mountains. Mountains are very um, vast in Oman. For, for this is supposed to be the Hajar, Hajar mountains. Hajar mountains are 
Yes. <laughs> Hajar Mountain are supposed to be in the Musandam Peninsula. In the Musandam, in the, in the Musandam Peninsula, we have, of course, the Hajar Mountains. The Hajar Mountains are very high, like this one, of course. When you, the, you, in, in there, you have a lot of activities. For example, you can go hiking, you can go climbing, you can see, you can just um, see, see sunlight and sun, sunrises, for example. Sunrises there are very um, beautiful, see? Yeah. Because it's of course very high and also very cold. Yeah. In the in your la in the land, in it might be it might maybe 35 degrees, 30 degrees. Yeah. On top of the mountains, it might get to below zero degrees. Yes. So you. Um, it's Maria. Okay. Today I will I will show you I will show you my experiment about friction. Friction. I oh. need a hot glue and a cover and a, and a cover bottle and odd. Uh, on odd CD and ballon. Let's start. Yeah. I I glue the co I glue the, the cover in the CD. Uh, then then I will insert the ballon. Oh. Then I will twist it to not get out. You can or you need support. After, after that, you put it down. Yeah. After that, I I will put the bar, I will put it in the. Fine. Wow! Wow! It starts to move. To move. Now I will show you how do uh, surface affect friction. You you can put the car on this three surface. Okay. Try it. Try. And and uh, you will turn. The surface is faster. Try. Yes, try. try it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it to one point. Third way. Mr. Pilot, try. Ah, uh, it will be not fast. Yes. yes. Which uh, one by the uh, faster more? Faster more here. Yeah. But this one is which surface? Somewhere. Smooth. Smooth surface. Good. According to the friction. Well done. Talk about the function of the What's blend. Your What's your name? What's your name? Merrick. Merrick. Yeah. Start. The function of the plant. First, the function of the root. The root holds the plant inside the ground, also transport the water and the nutrition from the soil to all parts of the plant. Next is the stem. The stem, the stem holds the plant. Uh, transport from the roots and where's the root? Where's root here? Ah, oh, fine. Okay. The, trans, the stem trans from the roots, the nutrition and the water from uh, to all part of the plant. Did oh. you made it by your hand here? By your hand? You made it by your hand? No, my mother. With your mother? Yeah, it's okay. Fine. Great. Well done. Well done. Great job, Masha. Hello, my name is Yaqeen. Today I am going to be friction test. I have three surfaces. And uh, which one is going to go? Okay. What's happened here? This one goes slow, this one faster, ah. but this is the fastest. The, uh, I'll try here. Okay. Oh, okay. And here you have to cut a little. Oh, a little bit. Okay. Parts of the plants and their functions. Okay. We have four parts of the plants. Okay. Roots, stem, leaves, and flowers. Okay. Roots. It absorbs water and minerals from the soil to the to the stem, to all parts of the plant. It holds the plant firmly on the ground. Stem. It, 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 it takes water and minerals from the roots to the, to the leaves. It holds the plant upright. Leaves. It, it has chlorophyll that absorbs sun. Ben. Oh, yeah. Teacher, you can. Ben. I will try here? Yeah. Come. It is camp because you write in a one color to you. Yes. You color the. I color it. Okay. Bye, everybody. Hello, teacher. My name is Serene. Today, I want to show you an experiment. It's about separating of magnets, lanterns, and iron. Let's start. Mm. Uh, 
The magnet pulls the iron up. Thank mm. you. Okay. So you can find it by magnet, yeah? Yes. Uh, but why it's magnet here? Ah, stop. They can bring me. They can put like that. Okay. It will be a magnet. Um, rub, it, rub it with a rough surface, Mr. Omar. Yeah. If you rub with a rough surface, it will be exchanged. Yeah, I will try. Have it in your clothes. In, in clothes. In, in clothes, clothes, yeah? Move faster. To be hot. Until it becomes hot. Try it. <laughs> okay? Hello everybody, hello teacher. My name is Hamza. Today I will talk about animals group. First group is fish. Fish lay eggs on the water. Example of the fish, one octopus, one small fish and one big fish. Second group is mammals. How many groups here? Six. Six groups. Fish and? Mammals. Animal, mammals. Okay. Insects, and bears, bears, amphibians, reptiles. Which one you prefer? Which one you like it? Uh, mammals. Mammals? Why? Because have two lungs like the uh, like the me, like me. Ah. Okay. What about uh, reptiles? Okay. Reptiles lay eggs on the land. Example of the reptiles: one turtle, one snake, and one crocodile. The fly lays egg. The egg will become a caterpillar. The caterpillar eats the leaves. Then it will become pupa. And here, last? The last, it will become a new butterfly. And the fly. Ah, yes. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk about reptiles. The reptiles, all the reptiles have a skin and it covered with dry scales. This is the dry scales for the snake and this is the dry scales for the crocodile. crocodile. And it's, I'll talk about I talk about a uh, butterfly life cycle. First, adult butterfly lay eggs. The eggs will hatch and become caterpillar. The caterpillar will grow and become a pupa. This, the butterfly will grow and and it will fly. Thank you. Hello everyone. I, hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well today. Let's talk about the amazing husky dog. Huskies are a big dog with husky. a fluffy, yes, with a fluffy and thick fur. They are strong. They can pull sleds with easy moving at a good speed. Did you know that huskies have a long history? But we are still learning about it. Some people think they may be one of the oldest dog breed ever. Uh, sometimes they are also called Arctic Huskies because they because they are great at living at cold places. Now, hello, my name is Chad. I am in grade 3D. Today I will tell you about life cycle of butterfly. First, the the butterfly will lay egg. Uh, then the caterpillar will mm. eat leaves and will grow faster. Then will come pupa. Then from on a plant, the tiny eggs take mm -hmm. the tiny eggs are attached to the branch mm -hmm. with a sticky glue. It okay. takes food from the ah, plant. Yes, okay. From the plant. What's the last? Where's the last? Last one is here. Yeah, fly, butterfly. Yes. Ah. My turtle. Uh, uh, has uh, so many uh, special features. An animal tries to attack it, she goes under the shell to protect uh, herself. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has uh, these nails to, when she walks, she can uh, walk uh, faster. Mm -hmm. And uh, my uh, turtle is a female and has a, a big shell around its back. And fun fact about turtles, when they swim, they look at their back legs to see if there uh, are uh, any predators and they go under their shell. Okay, first I'll talk about the fighter fish habitat. Uh, it lives in shallow fresh water mm -hmm. and rice pads and stagnant ponds mm -hmm. and slow moving streams. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it has too many special features, but I'll say three of them. It has a large asymmetrical tail 
and it's highly adaptable and durable. And uh, this classification of the fighter fish is the uh, viltail. Okay, this you have, you have fish in your home? Distinguished it. Mm. Males larger curved horns. Males have a one meter length of horns. Ibex. The Nubian ibex lives in rocky deserts, which only comes down to graze on grasses on leaves. During summer nights, herds rest in open areas of slopes, while during the cooler nights, they rest in closed areas like caves. Mm -hmm. their, their classification, they are a species of goat distinguished by their male's larger curved horns. A male is referred to as a buck, a female is referred to as a doe, and young juvenile are called kids. Today I will talk about my favorite bird, the barret. And it has white and gray feather, and it has a small curved beak. Okay. And uh, it has in his head a crust. Mm -hmm. The shape of the crust change when um, it uh, will be happy or sad or excited. Uh -huh. Now you he, know when he happy or uh, or sad, yeah? Yes. Now he is, uh, he is excited. What? Excited now. Why? Uh, uh, because we because have, we have uh, uh, yes. around, the, around the. Thank you. My name is Omar. I yeah. will tell you about. Omani cat. Omani cat. First, I'll tell you about its its habitat. It lives where the human found mm -hmm. and independent outdoor life. Mm -hmm. Next, I'll tell you about its features. Mm -hmm. it, it don't has long hair, but it has long and strong, long and strong claws. How, so, how old it? Today, uh, Hello teacher, hello my friend. Today I will talk about my fish. My fish is uh, is the fighter fish. And fighter fish? Yes. Oh. And fins uh, mm -hmm. to help her to swim and take oxygen underwater. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Everybody will talk today about this, this fish. This fish, uh, fish are classified into two groups. Two groups? To two groups, mm -hmm. like fin fish and shellfish. Shell, uh, fin fish like 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 this fish and shellfish like crab and shrimp. It is called a bit. It's called it's called it's called the fighter fish the and fighter. a fighter fish and uh, and uh, and a bit of fish. Mm -hmm. Fine. Everybody, my name is Awab Awab Muhammad. Today I'll talk about camel. Camel mm -hmm. is strong animal. It lives in in the desert. It can walk easily on soft sand. The average lifespan of camel is between 30 to 40 years. The camel is 2.15 meters long. The camel can run at speed up to 65 kilometers per hour. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. My name is Mohammed Fahdi. Today I will talk about the canary. The canary. canary. Oh. Yes. The canary is one of the most famous songbirds. Uh, it marked by it is uh, it is uh, different uh, size and and colors depending on its type. And the most important thing that the canary market with it is very beautiful voice. Mm. Uh, the canary is a small bird. It is between 12 to 13 centimeter long. The 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 original color for the canary is uh, yellow mixed with green, with oh. with brown and gray. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abdul Rahman. Today I will talk about turtles. Turtles, uh, reptiles. Turtle recording a reptile group. Turtles. Turtles record by him bony shell, which protects them from the predators. Turtles. Sea yeah. turtle and what? Land turtle. Land turtle, Land turtle. Land turtle yeah, two yeah. Two kinds. Yeah, two kinds. This is our solar system. It, it has it has eight eight planets, and only one star is called sun. Okay. Our solar system it start with. It, okay. Complete. It's, it's the it's the nearest for from the sun. Mm -hmm. Second is Venus. Third is Earth. Oh, its color is blue because mm -hmm. it has 
So, hello, my name is Unz. Today I'll talk about the cedar tree. Mm -hmm. The cedar, uh, according to the Omani Encyclopedia, the cedar tree is one of the largest trees in Australia, in Oman. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, and the cedar tree is, mm -hmm. is a. Uh, is what? Uh, and the cedar tree. Okay. And the cedar, the, the leaves of the cedar tree are using for making. For making shampoo and oil. Okay. Well, okay. The, uh, it's an important source for honey bee for honey bees and it is and it it is hello teacher, hello my friend. Today I will talk about carboriferi. The name of this plant in Omani is the muta plant and an English carboriferi. It lives in desert habitat. It has thick leaves with a strong aromatic smell. This smell helps to drop the insects. This plant does not need much water to grow. It can grow quickly. Uh, it's used for medical things such as cup in children. Which area here in Oman? Hmm? In, in Oman, which area uh, can found it? Desert. In desert? Plant, remove the gases from the body. Thank you for listening. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, good morning, my friends. Today I will talk about lemon tree. Lemon tree is a specification. It has an evergreen tree. Its leaves are green and oval in shape. Its flowers are whitish and purple. Its fruits are oval in shape and yellow in color. The height of the lemon tree reaches between three and six meters. It's it's and it's constrained one of the of the established trees. The bark of the lemon tree. It's okay. the Where's lemon tree in Oman here? And everywhere. Everywhere? Ah, in your home. Everyone. My name is Sumu. I am in grade 4B. Today I will talk about Hinna tree. Hinna tree, tropical shrub or small tree of the Lustra family. It is usually found in native to northern Africa, Asia, and Australia. The dried leaves are the source of ridges. Brown dye, known as Hinna, used to dye skin, hair, and fingernails. As we talk about about Omani lemon, lemon is a Omani lemon. Okay, yeah. Lemon is a citrus fruit. It has uh, green and yellow color. Mm -hmm. Some types of lemon have seeds, and some types are seedless. It mm -hmm. can grow in, in warm, in warm temperature. So it mm -hmm. can Oman except high mountains because the temperature. And there is law. Hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Hello, everybody. My name is Aman Salam Al Azrat from Grade 4A. Mm -hmm. Today, I, I will present to you my flower. Mm -hmm. I had a little seed. What's the name of this flower? You don't know. <coughs> okay. Come I to. had a little seed and I put it in a bush. Mm. I I I watered I I watered I put it in a shan shan and I watered it a lot. I waited and I waited. Hi, my teacher and my friend. This my plant is mm -hmm. named San Basro cactus. Mm -hmm. It can grow in in hot weather. It and store water in stem. Mm -hmm. Comes in summer. Mm -hmm. It can grow in desert. In desert. Also found in Muscat oh. and many places in Oman. Thank you. Thank you. Need to grow. They mm -hmm. grow fast. Merry gold need full sun all day. Mm -hmm. Three common types are French, African, and cigarette. Merry gold shows antibacterial and antiviral properties. Mm -hmm. They are one to five feet long. Okay, one, two, three. Hello, everybody. Hello, my friends. I will give you a quick fact about my two plants. The first one is vincas. Vincas are heat loving plants. Vincas grow well in garden beans in hanging baskets. Vincas, vincas require full sun and uh, drink so the second plant is cactus cactuses are not just found in deserts they are also found in the coldest mountains and the hottest rainforest C cactuses like where where 
the hottest country? The, ho the hottest rainforest. Rainforest. No, rainforest. And the coldest mountains. Oh, coldest mountains. Coldest. Oh, okay. Yeah. I am going to talk about frankincense tree. In Oman, we call it Lubayan. Ah, okay. This tree is part of our culture. It okay. is mainly grow up in the in the south of Oman, in Zufar. People in You bring it from Zufar? Yes. MashaAllah. Bukhur. Yeah, Bukhur, yeah. People in Dufar go to the wadis looking for this tree because it protects frankincense. Fine, good. The best kill is Naba. Naba? Yeah. Mm. My, my favorite plant is mm. corn. Corn? Yeah. Is it long and color green? Is it green and green? Is it long and green? My name is Amjad. Today I am to talk about Oliver Tree. Oliver Tree is, is a home tree in the world, and he's very, very good to the baby to to and to and give very, very vitamin and good and good to the body. To the skin and he yeah. lived thousand years, and he lived in the hut of Nizwa. You remember uh, the ayah in Quran about the, the fig, the fig, the fig tree. The fig tree is a small tree with small. broad. Uh, the fig are large. The leaves are large, green leaves with several deep lobes. Mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, the leaves, the fig are. Hello teacher, hello everybody, my name is Omar. Today I will talk about the chili, inshallah. Chili? Yes. The chili is spicy and it has a colors like green, red, and orange, and white. And it's fight the eczema. And it's good for health, for uh, like a stomach, it's good. For heart, for yes. for Today I'll be talking about mint. Mint is a famous plant, uh, plant, and mint. it has, and it has square stems and opposite aromatic leaves. Mm. It lives near pools of water, lakes, yeah, yeah. rivers, and and moist spots and shades. Mm. There are about two dozen, uh, two dozen. To a dozen species native to all continents except. Hello, everybody. My name is Mariam. Today I'll talk about the Zamuta tree. Features of the Zamuta tree. Zamuta? It's, Zamuta. Yeah, it has bright green leaves and small, sweet tasting fruit. Uses of the Zamuta tree preparing, preparing sweets and medicine production. Mm. Today I'll be talking about it. A basil is an annual herb that is used fresh or dried to flavor meats and sometimes sauces. A basil plant is native to Oman and other countries. Mm -hmm. A basil plant can stand to 46 cm. Its, its leaves are oval shaped or heart shaped. Its leaves are 2.5 cm to 7.6 cm. And sometimes the basil plant can have flowers when it is bigger. The mm. colors of the flowers are pink, purple, or white. It's, uh, and shapes. And and you can see uh, say some uh, some grapes are big and some are not. And um, and uh, some grapes are sour and some are sweet. Thank you. Everyone, I am Mihal in grade 4A. I will talk about Hinna tree and Elias tree. First, I will talk about Hinna tree. Hinna tree is a beautiful and a natural tree in Sultanate of Oman. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't need a lot of water to grow. It to clay their hair and, some, and the girls use it to um, engrave their hands and feet. Mm -hmm. And some people use it to 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 treatment 
Now I will tell you how can how can we make a henna from henna tree. First, cut the leaves of henna. Then we put it to dry. Then we grinding. I'm going to talk about an famous Omani bird. It is a dog. Mm. It is. It is uh, um, this be this kind of begin. It is it, uh, it is is a wild Omani bear. Mm -hmm. It is layers uh, layers on bear. It is layers to eggs. Okay. It's it speed. Mm -hmm. Each grams of uh, of the, the of uh, one dove is is uh, 97 or 117 grams. Mm -hmm. you have you have one. Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today I will talk about about the most deadliest animal in the world and it's the scorpion. Did you know that scor did you know that scorpions are the are the oldest animal living today? And even scientists believe when scorpions landed on earth that they landed on earth before dinosaurs. And until now they are living. It's from minutes to hours until the female gave uh, gave birth to young scorpions. My scorpion is called the dead kill scorpion and it's also called the black scorpion because it can kill, the, it can kill somebody in seven minutes. That's Thailand, Cambodia, um, Indonesia and Vietnam. It also lives in the Middle East. Mm. It is one of 73 species of the genius betta. The betta splendens are among the most popular aquarium fish in the world due to their diverse and colorful morphology. They were first found at least 1,000 years ago, among the longest of any fish. How to take care of it? Require occasional surface air when water or oxygen is plentiful, so there must be some space between the water and the tank lid in which you take in air. Hello everybody, my name is Emel and today I'm going to talk about the humpback whale, one of the most unique whales in the world. First thing first, let me tell you a fact about it. Humpback whales was going to be endangered in 1988 but luckily in 2008 they found they found more humpback whales and now no one is worrying about humpback whales being endangered and humpback whales sing uh, humpback whales females sings to the males for 5 to 10 hours and uh, and when the breeding time came they will sing for 5 to 10 minutes and the favorite food of the humpback whale as you see, it's the shrimp and a lobster and a fish. He loves this. Uh, he loves these meals because his throat isn't this big. And humpback whale favorite things to do. Humpback whale lift, uh, love to do backflips on the air and go back to the ocean. And that's the happy, uh, habit of it. And. Hello. Everybody, my name is Naba Saud as Suleimani and I am from grade 6A. And today I will going to talk about turtles. I will going to talk about turtles, where it lives, and what the type of turtle. First, this is the turtles, like in the picture you can see. Then let's tell you about the type of the turtle. There are two types of turtles. Turtles who live in sea and turtle who doesn't live in sea and we call it turtles. Then, Let's talk about where it lives. It lives in seas and ocean. Like this turtle, I bring it from Ras al Had. From Ras al Had? Yes. Okay. Then, find it in supermarkets. And some big turtles, when they don't find a food, they eat the, the, the small turtles. Then let's talk about the biggest turtle in the world. Some of people say the big, that the biggest turtle in the, in the world is more than 1,000 weight. But some say no, it's not more than 1,000. This is my friend, Ward as Suleimania. Today we will talk about the Arabian Deep. The Omani gazelle. The Omani gazelle is considered one of the most widespread wild animals in Oman. The Omani gazelles are, can be colored black or beige too. The Omani gazelles can handle thirstiness for long too. Basma, I have some questions for you to teach the other people. First, what does the Omani gazelle eat? It eats grasses, but when there is no food in the dry season, when there is no water, it eats the tips of branches. Where does the Omani gazelle live? The Omani gazelle lives in open desert.
Is it a mammal or not? Of course, it is a mammal. So what is the meaning of mammal? Mammal means the, the animal that give a birth. Like us human, we are also give a birth. Not like some types of animal, it gives an egg, not a birth. Yeah. What covers the Omani gazelle? Like you can see here, this is the thing that covers the Omani gazelle. It is the hair, like you can touch it. It is so smooth and beautiful. Good morning everyone. My name is Farida Shri from Grade 6A. Today I'm going to talk about swallowtail butterfly. It's, it's, it's a swallowtail butterfly lives anywhere east of the Mississippi River and a bit farther it was into the Great Plains states. Its diet, the butterfly eats nectar from a variety, variety of plants, including clovers, mil milkweed, thistles, and phlox. The predators, predators, don donators, animal predators, animals that they eat. Of the black swallowtail can include centipedes, spiders, and birds. This is your letter? By your, yes. your hand? Yes. You write it by your hand? Mashallah. Yes. Oh, oh, everything, yeah? Yes, I write by my hand. There is a, there is over 550 species, so of the majority are tro tropical every continent except Antarctica. Now, these are the parts of the butterfly. This is its head, and these are its feelers, and this is its eye, and this is its thorax, and this is wing, this is leg, and this is ad adomen. Thank you. And this is Good morning, dear teachers and students. My name is Al Hussein, and today I will talk about the spirulina fish. Spirulina fish is a very common fish. You can find it in Oman. It just eats a little amount of food. It takes one ounce in every 12 hours. It doesn't take much food. It comes in different variation of colors, from blue to red to black to even yellow. Spirulina food, the spirulina fish is really common, but they come in really small sizes. Mm. But spirulina fishes are also like the fighter fish. They also love fighting. Thank you for listening. Thank you, thank you. It is a group of reptiles that walk on land. They have large shells that protect them from predators. Their lengths range from a few centimeters mm. to two meters. Mm. About land turtles are often active during the day. In general, they are solitary animals. Okay. It's mean giant tortoise, mm are very slowly animals. 0.27 kilometers per hour. Most land turtles are herbivores feeding on herbs, leaves, flowers, seeds, and some fruits. No, seeds. Make zoom here. Thank you, thank you, great. I am a member of the turtle family. Turtles live in the sea and lie there. It's on the beaches. There, there is a turtle reservoir in the hut to protect their ingenious. Right. How, how many kinds of turtle in one, the world? One. Two kinds or one kind? Two. Turtle for land, turtle for like your turtle. See. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Talas Animal Community. Today I will talk about ring neck barot. We called it in Oman Matto. The, uh, the, uh, the ring neck parrot belongs to the family Bicicida. It is a medium sized parrot with a ring around its neck. Uh, males have a black ring around its neck while females do not have. Uh, uh, these parrots are native to India, but it is successfully established population in many countries, including Oman. This uh, Good morning everyone. My name is Abdullah Salam al from Grade 6B. And today I will talk about Wadi Racer Snake. Mm -hmm. This snake has two names. The second name is Arabian Racer Snake. This snake found in Wadi, mountains and farm places. Mm -hmm. This snake is not aggressive and will not attack, directly attack. The, this snake, the body of this snake is tall. This snake is very ugly. And when, and it has uh, a, a very fast. It, it, it is very fast. Very fast. Very fast. Yes. 
This snake can climb rock surfaces and can swim very well. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, my friend. Today I will talk about frogs. What is frogs? Frogs are amphibians. What mean amphibians? Amphibians are like frogs can live in the earth and in, in water. We have more than 5,000 types of frogs. Oh, 5,000 types? Frogs eat insects like flies, moths, methers. Dumb. Body of the frogs. It have ears and eyes and it have lungs. First egg mass, then teddy ball, then teddy ball with legs, then young, young f frog, then... Good morning everybody, good morning teachers, my name is Ahmed. Today I will talk about grasshopper. Grasshopper, <coughs> grasshopper is from the most founded insects in Oman. You will think that it's founded on Middle East only, but it's founded in every place in the earth. This is a grasshopper shape. You can see he has six legs. Second two to, to stand and the last two to jump and fly from its enemy. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Why it's hard to catch grasshopper? There are actually two reasons. Because grasshopper ears are in their abdomen or their stomach so they can hear you when you want to catch them mm. and the other reason because their eyes are big so that they can see in front and in back grasshoppers from the most ancient chewing herbivores it eats only plants these are some foods that grasshopper eats like every animal they must they must be top animals to eat them so these are some animals that eat grasshopper to continue the life cycle birds, rat, and some big insects. This is the grasshopper life cycle. You can see it starts from a small egg growing to an inf and coming to an adult. Do you know that male, when they want to call a female, they sing a song to call it by chewing their legs on their stomach? Good morning, teachers. My name is Kader Riyan. And today, I will talk about an Omani animal. This Omani animal, animal is leopard, the Arabian leopard. The Arabian leopard fur is yellow to deep golden. The tawny or gray. This animal weight is around is 20 kilograms. This animal weight total weight is from 160 centimeters to 203. It's too small. That's why we call it the smallest leopard in the world. This animal live in uh, mountains and hill steps in Oman, like the Oman, like the far mountain. Okay. Do you know that Oman has the largest population of the Arabian liver? The Arabian liver is more active during ni during night, but it seems more it seems something. Yeah, man. Today I will talk about rabbits. Rabbits are small mammals. They their habitat is everywhere but not Antarctica. They came in big ears, strong uh, with big ears, strong legs, two front teeth. Fluffy tail and keen sense of smell. Rabbits has no sound, just scream. They came in grey, brown, black, and white colors. Uh, this cute animals eat fruit and vegetables. Rabbits can easily raise at you now fill the di the daisy to own a rabbit. Thank you. Hello, my teacher. Hello, my friends. My name is Hamza from Grade Six B. Today I'll talk about the native of many hours. The Omani owl, Strix butler, is an owl of the genus Strix, found in shrubland and rocky areas of Oman, Iran, and the UAE. It was discovered in 2013. Omani owls has a gray body, brown eyes or orange, and an off-white wings. Omani owls are 35 centimeters long and have a wingspan of 35 and have a wingspan of 95 to 98 centimeters. This makes them three to four times bigger than virgins. Many owls weigh up to 225 grams. Many owl has a speed of 64 kilometers per hour. Many owls. Hello, my teacher. Hello, my friends. I'm Asian Mutas Bilan from Grade 6B. And today I'm going to talk about the Omani native fox. Mm. The phoenix is a small fox native to the desert of Oman. They are 16 feet long, 16 inches long. They are 1.9 kilograms. They live in groups and they are one of the canine family. As a special feature, 
they have unusually large ears, which serves to waste teeth and 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 improves listening to underground prey. When, when people discovered here in Oman, in uh, in deserts. In deserts, huh? yes. Mm -hmm. The date maybe is maybe before yes, many but years. I'm not sure where, where, in when? which desert. Which desert? That's ah, okay. It's all deserts sure. here. Okay. Yes. Hey everyone, my name is Muhammad Sadiq from Grade 6B and today I will be talking about camels. Camels? <laughs> camels are, are, speci are classified as mammals. They live, their main habitats are deserts. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They, th this type of camel is, uh, is the main one in Oman. It's called the Andromeda camel. Yeah, these camels have uh, features which I will be talking about. They're <laughs> this camel will be my model. The first feature of of uh, camels are their eyes, their, specifically their eyelashes. Their uh, our human eyelashes close like this, but but uh, camels' uh, eyelashes close like this, which prevents uh, dust particles um, from entering their eyes. Their second feature are their th are their tongue and mouth, which is leathery. This they can eat prickly plants, especially cactuses, and the spiky leaves from trees in the desert. Their th their, their third feature are their humps. Their humps are very th essential for survival. As you can see here, this is one of uh, the camel's humps. Humps. Oh. They they use their humps.